guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of capricorn sun moon rising venus welcome cross watchers if you're new to the channel happy to have you here yeah so it's been a little cray <laughs> if you missed the scorpio and or sagittarius reading um, which i did at the same i did back to back because i was preparing for hurricane helene I have just come out on the other side of it, um, but I'm a little worn <laughs> for the wear and tear. Came through okay. I, one of the very few, very few lucky ones here in the area that did not lose power, did have a tree come down uh, late at night, which was very scary and terrifying, but no one got hurt. Everybody lived to tell the tale. Um, I am putting up my daughter, who was not as fortunate. Her building where she lives at the beach is fully underwater. So she's pretty upset, but um, she's safe because she's been with her mommy. So I'm just, uh, you know, not all glammed up. Thanks for your understanding, but I'm here to read another day. And as it is meant to be, right? So what I'm going to do is pull from Divine Master's Oracle. Um, I'm really glad to be here with you. Let's see what Divine Master is speaking to you today. Ishtar. Oh, so beautiful. Inner learnings. Follow your heart. Truth prevails. She's one of my favorite. Ishtar. <sighs> Inner learnings. Follow your heart. Truth prevails. So, Ishtar is a feminine master, yes? I could be wrong. This spread that I'm using um, is sort of a little bit of like lessons, baggage, what do we need to release, what is blocking us, what needs forgiveness. And where do we need to focus on self-love? So I'm kind of calling it like a little bit of a shadow spread. Um, and so even if you're here as a cross watcher, it could be speaking to you specifically. And in the extended, I'm going to dive deeper into the relationship you're here to, to watch about. The reason I'm doing it this way, and a lot of people were kind of cranky when they first come, but then they come into the comments like, I really needed to hear this. I really, really needed to hear this. So just hang with me, tough it out. It'll be worth it, I promise. Because we just came through the full moon in Pisces with a lunar eclipse, past, lo past life, past energy release. And we're headed toward the new moon in Libra with a solar eclipse, but it's all coming from an energy of what we need to release from the past and since libra is associated with themes of the seventh house it's venus ruled about relationships this particular spread um sort of points to those themes okay hang in there i'll walk you through it what is the lesson from past relationships aha you too have a theme of something that may be on a loop in and out in and out Lots of um, grand gestures coming in from, you know, from people that sort of really get your attention, sweep you up off your feet, but really may not have any staying power. And what's the baggage that you're potentially carrying around? But I love them. They are my past life soulmate. I feel so comfortable with them. It's so easy. It's like hand in glove. I feel like we've known each other forever. So it's, a, like, it's like this baggage is, but it's, it's meant to be. I'm just sure of it. Okay, so what do you need to release and let go from these past relationships, right? The story you're telling yourself about who this person is to you and, you know, really, if, if emperor is divine masculine energy, this is not an emperor. This energy comes in and goes out, comes in and goes out. It doesn't have the staying power of the emperor. So there's something you've been telling yourself and, and, and I'm not telling you this, the cards are telling you this. So I'm drafting off your energy here. Um, obviously, we'll wait for the clarifiers to get more specific, so hold your powder. But I'm telling you that there's something here that you need to release so that you can also 
Mm -hmm. You've got a block here about the path forward because you're living in a past life scenario, right? What is blocking you either within this connection and about the path forward for it or from finding new love? The two of wands is about the path forward. What do you want? In a world of possibility, what do you want? Which path is more likely to get you there? And what do you need to set in motion so that it arrives? Because the next card would be the three of wands. And the three of wands is like a manifestation card. Something coming in, ships coming in. Mm -hmm. But you're blocked at this stage of the game. Okay, forgiveness. What do you need to forgive? Yeah, your imperfections. You know, sometimes um, the nine of pentacles, we get hard on ourselves. This is like a sister card for you, especially if you're here with the Capricornian energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Nine of Pentacles, everybody admires her. But what we see are the flaws. What we see are the imperfections. What we see is, yeah, but you're still alone. You, you know, all that in a bag of chips, but you're still alone. And so what we do to ourselves with that information is we say, yes, but I love him. Yes, but he's my soulmate. Yes, but, and so we, we accept a lot of crap. Oh. Self-love here. What do you need to work on? It's a communication thing. So um, maybe there are things that you're biting your tongue about that you're not saying. Maybe there are a lot of things that you're letting slip through, the, you know, slip by. You're giving a lot of passes. So for the self-love, it may be um, you need to work on being more communicative. Um, expression, especially if you're here as the Capricornian. Okay, or, ha or having the Capricorn in your chart. Or even if you're dealing with the Capricorn because they're not so communicative at times. All right, so let's clarify, shall we? Knight of Wands. The lesson. See how I told you it was a little shadowy, <laughs> a little shadow artifact in this reading. Yeah, the lesson is uh, there's this repeat pattern. This keeps coming in and out of your life, the theme in the relationship or in relationships is there's an in and out pattern and it's with some energy that feels like it's meant to be. It's, you know, something very comfortable. Like I said, the warmth, the comfort, the nostalgia, it could be just with one person that this keeps happening with, or it could be a pattern in relationships. Um, and so the Knight of Wands, fabulous energy but there's but this is something that operates in the moment on impulse and while it's very exciting it doesn't operate with a plan so it kind of comes in and then it just keeps going out the back door it doesn't have the staying power let's say of the knight of pentacles who moves like at the sna at a snail's pace but definitely knows where it's going and and what it's trying to achieve so um yeah this is a lesson for sure king of cups um the emotional the lack of emotional availability and underneath with this knight of swords there's a lot of fast motion quick talker right fast talk um it seems to me like the lesson here is that you're not you're not able because of how the nature of these relationships are that they everything happens so fast like the wind and there could be smooth talking there could be quick talking things like if you have a moment of doubt or insecurity about the situation it's like no 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 let me make it clear oh yeah my feelings are very deep and i'm not saying that they aren't but I'm saying that the emotional availability for something that stays isn't really there. And so I'm looking at the lesson from past relationships or one relationship that keeps this pattern keeps repeating. And so we really need to dig deeper for the truth of that situation. 
with someone that you've grown very comfortable with or that you feel like you've known forever. Some of you probably have in 3D. Others of you feel like it's been happening across time and space, right? Multiple lifetimes. So the baggage here. If I let it go, worlds will collide. The whole future, all those plans will fall apart. What are you carrying from this, right? The whole future depends on it, but it's unsustainable. Underneath here, Queen of Wands. So it's it can be really disempowering. That Queen of Wands is... You know, she's the leader, she's got it together, she's a little witchy woman. <laughs> you know, she's kind of magical and mystical, and she's sort of in control, um, associated with the sign of Aries. So she's cardinal energy, startup energy, and sort of pulling the strings behind the scenes. But because it's from the bottom of the deck, and for those of you who are new, what that means is I'm tapping into either your own unconscious energy. So that would be in your psyche, right? It's, it's in something internal being processed or, you know, something behind the scenes. Either way, it's something you can't see. So in this case, it's like this lesson, this thing that keeps cycling and coming in and out and in and out it begins to disempower you because it's like playing Jenga, right? You pull out one piece and the whole vision of the future with the past life soulmate can fall apart. The whole tower comes tumbling down with your future and life partnership vision along with it. And that can be very disempowering. You don't feel so powerful in that setting. So you're carrying a lot of baggage with that so let's see what you need to release here emperor i do feel like you've been manifesting we've got the magician you've been manifesting something that eludes you that has either um not fulfilled you much emotionally, right? This King of Cups, something that needs to change but just hasn't, death card. Um, like, note to self, if, you know, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting something different, it's kind of the definition of insanity I'm getting close there I think I mangled it a bit but you know what I'm trying to say it's like this person that you have put up on this pedestal and you're trying to manifest something different but it isn't serving you anymore nothing's changing and so it is time for you to turn your back on what remains the same that isn't serving you anymore um, and and release it you need to let it go And I'm not saying that the, this, this, you've hallucinated anything. I'm saying that there is a connection here quite clearly, but it hasn't evolved. It's playing like a broken record. And I said this to another side, another sign that it like, like there's a scratch in it. And so when it comes around and it gets caught on that scratch, you are not hearing the scratch but it keeps repeating in that same spot and you're just habituated to it. Um, and you're disempowered and holding all that baggage because if you pull out the Jenga piece, piece, right? Everything falls apart. So you're being guided to sort of see the, the, the reality that nothing has changed and it isn't serving you anymore. And so you can't grow and you can't transform. And so you need to release it because you're trying to manifest something. But you, when you manifest, you have to be invested in what you're manifesting. You have to change. So let's see the block. Well, the block is that you have to determine what you want. And then you have to recognize that maybe it's down another path. 
And that once you say, yeah, down another path, then you have to say, and what do I need to set in motion? So that my manifesting game yields something. Mm -hmm. You're not choosing because you're afraid. Um, Seven of Swords, the wheel. Interesting, Page of Swords. Like if, almost like what you're saying here, what your block is, is I don't really know what I want, but I know what I don't want. And maybe there's some sense, spidey sense that all that's in the cards for you, all your fate and karma is tied to deceit and betrayal. So you're staying in this scenario where at least you know what you're dealing with, even though it hasn't really evolved. It, it repeats, it repeats, it repeats, it repeats. So there's really no growth, change, or transformation, but at least you know what you're dealing with. It's familiar. Because you, the block is that there really isn't another path for you. doesn't matter what I want. Because if I choose something else, I'm only going to get lied to, cheated on, betrayed. Interesting. Because that may be the story from other past relationships that may have you in this situation because at least you're seeing somebody that desires you at least you're dealing with somebody who does have some affection for you and feelings for you but just truly is not fully available for whatever reason forgive what do you need to forgive and i will say different day different sign different decks this card keeps coming out in this position. It's like maybe four times, I want to say. That's a lot of times when you're thinking statistically. Wow. Oh, I love that you get that Ace of Cups underneath. Yes. Seeing yourself as the gift. You're the gift. So... Uh, um, yeah, forgive, forgiving yourself for only looking at your imperfections, but also here, um, forgiving yourself for repeating the cycle and maybe not learning the lesson the first time. The, the world card is Saturn, and Saturn is the great teacher and the lord of karma. And so have you ever heard of, like, you know, your Saturn return in astrology is when Saturn comes back to the exact degree point it was at the time of your birth, and that happens roughly every 28 to 30 years. And it can revisit upon us some pretty, sometimes some pretty rough experiences that seem cyclical, right? It seems exactly like what I'm looking at um, right here for you. But sometimes we close the cycle, we learn the lesson. And then Saturn wants to give us a nice big pat on the back. Job well done. You will not need to repeat this cycle. Close it out and you get your new beginning. And so I almost feel like, you know, your message here of forgiveness is take the time you need. Press pause and get the 30,000 foot view. This is the hanged man that will help you get some enlightenment on what has been playing out in a repeating cycle like a scratched record. So that you can see that for what it is because it's not your imperfection. It's a pattern that you're clinging to because this is the truth. This is what is really the problem. And once you know what this is about, then you can forgive. Oh, somebody did a thing and it really messed with my head. And once I can forgive it and forget it and release it, then I can close out this BS because now I see it, I can name it, I can close it out and I can understand that now I'm ready for 
the love of a lifetime because I know I'm the gift. That just made the hair on my arm stand up. Y'all bring me to big heights, Capricorn. There's a thing. You're very spiritual. You're way more spiritual than you give yourselves credit for. The goat ascending to the top of the mountain. How much more spiritual so he can see out? Right? Yeah, very spiritual. Okay. Self-love. What do you need to work on for your self-love? Eight of Wands. Yeah, I think for you... Uh, I like the two of swords in the below of it all. Like internally, it's about being at that crossroads moment where you got to get clear for yourself. Nobody else can really help you with this. This is an inside job. So I'm putting that to the side. Um, for your self-love, this is a conversation that you need to have with whoever is this person. And it goes a little something like this. I need to kind of spend some time on my own. I, I have some things to figure out. I need to move forward in my life. I can't keep going through the same pattern. I need to make some progress. Um, yeah, and it's something you can't help me with. Right, because the Hermit is a card of personal growth, self-exploration, introspection. It's like when we go out on our own and take a radical self-inventory. And it's landing on the chariot, which is like a victory card, a triumph card, a card of progress, of moving forward. But it's you doing it for you to get your win, right? But it's landing on a card of communication, of that exchange of ideas. So it's something you have to share with somebody. Maybe not this person. But maybe someone needs to, you need to bounce it off of somebody after you've done that thinking, after you've made this important decision that, yeah, if I want to move forward, if I want some growth change and transformation, I am making this decision that it's time for me to walk a mile in my own shoes and do a little solitary journeying for my own growth, for my own change for my own transformation, because I've thought, of, I've thought it through, I've looked it over, and this cycle, this all has to stop. I'm the gift. And if I want this kind of love, I have to love myself at that level first. And I have given away my power because I'm afraid everything's gonna fall apart if I let go of something that I don't really have. It clearly doesn't belong to me because it doesn't stay around long enough. It's in, it's out, it's in, it's out, it's in, it's out. Yeah. This is an intense reading. Um, like I said, little shadow focused, but valuable. So what I'm going to do for you, um, yeah, inner learnings, <laughs> inner learnings, um, truth prevails, right? This is a little truth. This is a little truth. You've got some truth cards here. They're all on the bottom of the deck, right? In your inner landscape, something you're not really looking at. Maybe you don't want to, maybe you don't have headspace for it right now. Um, but you got the inner learning card from Ishtar that is your divine master and it's pretty much what the message of the, of the reading is. That's what I have for you. So if you are interested, I am going to read about you and whoever this person is to you and that will be in the extended. The links to that are below. There are three different ways you can access the extendeds. There's a monthly renewal, that's option one. Number two is the one-time extended and number three is the all access pass to everything I, I do an extended for. Um, so those are below and what I'm going to be looking at is you and this person, your energy and your block in that relationship, their energy and their block in that relationship. 
Um, I'll do a poll for the relationship itself, uh, divine guidance from spirit for you in the connection, and the outlook, like how might things unfold going forward. So that's what we're going to do in the extended. If you have been enjoying my readings and this one in particular, if it has spoken to you, if it has been helpful for you, insightful for you, validating on some level, and you have not yet already done so, please subscribe below. That's my ask. That's our energetic exchange. I am eternally grateful. And so I thank you in advance. All right, I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.